My name is Jungon Lee. I'm Associate Professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Material Science in the University of Pittsburgh. I'm a material scientist and my research focus is to explore the functional properties of nanostructured materials to address energy demand. Based on my background as a material scientist and also our school's strategic emphasis on energy and nanoscience, I have established an advanced functional materials laboratory at Pittsburgh. A goal of my research program is to apply the unique electrical and optical functionalities of materials to harness various sources of energy. This is a very broad and interdisciplinary field. Therefore, I established interdisciplinary research program at our school. This includes material scientists, electrochemistry, applied physics, and photovoltaic device fabrication. A title of this perspective is Dysensite Solar Cells for Economically Viable Photovoltaic Systems. While Dysensite Solar Cells have multiple benefits such as material abundance, short energy payback period, constant power output, and compatibility with flexible applications, there are still several challenges which hold back large-scale commercialization. In this perspective, the present state of the field and the ongoing efforts to address these requirements of Dysensor solar cells are summarized with the views on the future of the field. A Dysensor solar cell is a photoelectrochemical cell whose device physics is very different from traditional PN junction solar cells. In this type of solar cells, a thin layer of dye molecules that is coated on the surface of major porous oxide semiconductor films function as a photosensitizer. The dye molecules absorb incoming photons and generate electron hole pairs. These electrons then quickly inject it to the conduction band of the semiconductor and redox couple in the electrolyte layer regenerate the dye molecules. Dye synthesized solar cells offer significant economic and environment advantages over conventional photovoltaic devices because they can be manufactured relatively inexpensively and in an energy efficient and environment friendly manner. Also, compared with other solar cells, their maximum output is less dependent on the ambient temperature. Moreover, their transparency and color can be controlled for the aesthetic integration into a variety of surfaces. This is beneficial when producing building integrate photovoltaic products, in particular for replacing glass windows. Critical factors determining the future of this field involve energy conversion efficiency, long-term stability, and production cost. There are several suggestions to overcome these challenges. They include new P-type semiconductors, electrolyte, perovskite-type sensitizers, as well as the new redox couples. My recent research interest in the field of photovoltaics lies in designing inorganic materials for better light absorption and carrier transport. One of my research subjects in solar energy harvesting is to explore new types of plasmony particles that can enhance the light absorption of solar cells containing such particles. In recent study, my group has shown that localized surface plasmas of coastal particles can increase the absorption and scattering of the incoming light. This leads to increased high energy efficiency of solar cells. Uh, one limitation of the dye sensitized solar cell is that the uh, diffusion length of the carrier is very short, only 20 micrometers. So the TL2 film should be very thin. In order to increase the light harvesting efficiency, we employ the uh, plasmonic cautia particles in the uh, uh, TL2 films and uh, plasmonic cultural particles consists of a dielectric silica core and a thin metallic nano layer. It can couple, the, couple with the incoming light to increase the uh, local, local field intensity due to the surface plasma resonances. And in the meanwhile, the incoming light pass lens can be greatly enhanced by the multiple scattering on the metallic nano shell. Carrier transport is the other key function of semiconductors that are used in photovoltaic as well as electro-optical devices. My recent research in this field is aimed at facilitating carrier transport by modifying the structure of semiconductors at the nanoscale. 
Recently, we have shown that nanorod can increase the energy conversion efficiency of device by more than 50%. This is due to the fast carrier transport. The electron diffusion coefficient is two orders of magnitude larger in one-dimension nanorods, which is correlated to the performance of PEC cells. The third ongoing research in my group is to study inherent conductivity limitation of transparent conducting oxide films. This stems from the fact that electron mobility and carrier concentration cannot be independently increased. I've been working with uh, metal nanoparticles uh, and we've proposed a novel way to independently control the carrier concentration and the carrier mobility by exploiting electron injection from metal nanoparticles into the neighboring TCO matrix. Um, one of the solutions we have is a zinc oxide, place it on the substrate and I use a spin coater, uh, place it on the spin coater and uh, used RPMs to equal, uniformly distribute the liquid across the substrate. Uh, we've been using that to enhance the optical, electrical, and mechanical properties of the materials. As I shortly introduced, my group is hardly working to apply the unique electrical and optical functionalities of nanostructured materials to harness various sources of energy. This will contribute to addressing ever-increasing energy demand of the world.